guys, and welcome back to Enigma. So, let's just jump right back in. Oh, Laurel, are you alright? What? That's dangerous here, you'd better... You guy here came from outside. Well, I thought Greta picked you up or something. Oh, it was Colette and Laro who picked me up, actually. Right? Keep your mouth shut. Colette? Hmm. Shit, just run away. You don't want to discuss it with this guy. What? Run? That sounds like a pain in the neck. Pain in the... Do you want to die, idiot? <laughs> You're such a jokester, Laro. I still got some time left. This ain't a game! You're gonna be in a heap of trouble if you piss that guy off. But he's picking on my friends. <laughs> or were you just joking around? Huh? Ch Chester? Yeah, I suppose a shorty like you wouldn't go around seriously calling others shrimps. You want me to do the same thing you did to that kid? You've got a big mouth on you, pal. Well, maybe not me alone, but those guys behind you would certainly lend me a hand. Huh? You brought someone with you? I secured the basket. Now's our chance, Laurel. Run! Huh? Huh? A retreat! Wait! Bye! <laughs> that piece of shit bastard. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> we yell as we're running down the path. <sighs> Whew. I haven't run like that in a while. That friend of yours seems pretty dangerous. Are you... Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> he could have killed us. It's all right. I'd die before getting killed. That's not funny. <laughs> what a way to start the morning. Sorry about that. It's all right. You kind of saved me anyway. Does it hurt where he punched you? Fine, I'm used to it. That's not something I'd like you to be used to. He's in love with Sis, and I'm in his way, so he always messes with me. It can only make Sis hate him more, but he's too dumb to realize it. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the description of an intelligent man. Right? Anyway, is that my breakfast? I was actually looking forward to that. Uh, that's right, I dropped it, so it's probably all messed up now. No big deal. Listen. Yeah? No. Oh. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, he's so cute, but why does he blush with his eyes? That's so weird. A good view, isn't it? Under the bright sun, caressed by the gentle wind, surrounded by the smell of sea and flowers, a breakfast with sea on the horizon. What is this if not the manifestation of pure bliss? Oh, he's so good with words, too! If that's your bliss? You're a weird one. You never notice it when the bliss is part of your usual life. Are you saying it wasn't yours? Oh ho! What? No, I just thought you were a pretty attentive listener. Huh? It's just normal to listen to what other people say, ain't it? Well, yeah, I suppose so. But you see, er... Uh... You're completely right. Is that supposed to be sarcasm or something? No, but it's not like I'm praising you either. I thought you'd be angry. I'm not. Why? 
I don't have a reason to be. You just told me what you thought. It didn't feel like you were making fun of me. You were fuming for the entire day yesterday. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh... Oh, shit! The wind swept it away! Look at it fly. Sis, weave that sheet. I'll go try to get it back. It seems to have... <clears throat> it seems to have been swept quite far away. Want me to tag along? Nah, it's alright. Just look after our stuff while I'm gone. And don't you dare go back home on your own and leave me stranded, you hear? I won't, but why do you emphasize it so much? Well, time might be waiting for us on our way back. <laughs> I see. Oh, goodness. I'll be back in a minute. I don't know why it's so laggy! <sighs> the sky is so vast, and the wind's touch is so pleasant. Oh, he's like me, taking, taking in the magic of everyday life. The peaceful sound of waves in the distance. Huh? Who is it? Are you sleeping? Who are you? <gasps> it's her! Your color is magnificent, just as I thought. Color? Um... A color I've never seen before. Or maybe I have. But if he did, I might not... Or I might know about him. Or I might know about it without knowing. Um... Could you give me a second? Could you, like, uh, introduce yourself? Are you asking for my name? Fine. You shall have it. Although I am not sure whether it even qualifies as such, but it is the only one that I have. Inferio, number 29. Inferio? That's your name? But what does the number mean? It means I'm the 29th. 29th of what? Of Imperium. Well, okay, I guess. Is it? Yeah, sure. I've learned what to call you at least. Oh, by the way, my name's Chester. Anyway, Imperio, is there something you need of me? Yes, there is something Imperio needs from you. I'm all ears. I want your color. Um, and what's that exactly? Color is color, and Imperium wants it. It needs it, so it seeks it. Just like humans live through consuming life, so I connect colors into one long, long life. You connect lives? Yes, yours is at its end. As such, your color belongs to Imperium. So... Um, it's time for you to... Chester! Uh, wait, what's going on? Let's go. Whoa, what, what, what's wrong, Laro? Just come with me. But our basket... It doesn't matter. See you again, Chester. Jesus. Laro. Do you know that girl? No. I don't know the details, but all islanders know it's something you don't want to get involved with. Is there a reason? That one ain't human. She isn't human, that girl. I guess she came off a bit peculiar, but... It's a doll. A doll that Ignis made. A doll? And who is this Ignis? Ignis is a weirdo that lives by the White Forest. 
He's a tall, white-haired dude with brown skin. He's kind of Greta's apprentice, but... Apprentice? Ah, uh, herbalism. Anyway, don't even try coming close to that thing. It's a bad idea to get involved with it. There's no way of telling what it might do to you. Laro. I'll be careful. Alright. If you're so worried, I'll be sure to be careful. Thank you. Huh? You were worried for me, weren't you? What? It, it's nothing like that. Huh? Is there... Is there a goddamn problem with me getting worried? Oh. Oh. I didn't expect that. I kind of even got flustered myself for a second here. Oh, they're so cute. You said we were friends. Uh, uh, yeah, I sure did. In that case, it's perfectly normal for me to be worried, no? Yeah, it's perfectly normal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, I should head home before long. I don't think Ty would be still waiting for us at this point. I see. Thank you for everything. See you again. See you. No. Oh. Oh, so cute! If only I did it sooner. If only I left for the outside sooner. Oh no! I'm gonna cry! This, this game's gonna end up making me sob like a little baby. Maybe there would've been another path for me. But I can't cry over spilled milk forever. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, Chester! So we meet again! Ingenious, what are you doing in the park? Is that your way of asking whether I'm lonely or I'm a lonely old man hanging around playgrounds by myself? You're still in your twenties, aren't you? Sure I am. Or sure I am. I'm still in my prime. But what are you doing here, Chester? On your way back from a date, perhaps. Well, I was with a friend. A guy friend. A man. <laughs> a p <laughs> Were you all or were you on a date, genius? Well, you see, there are no women on this island to match my manly charms. You'd think there'd be at least one. So in short, there are no single women your age in here. I've got no interest in kids as well. I'd be stirring a hornet's nest if I went after a married gal. Oh, I didn't take you for the moral type. There's no telling what they'd do to me if I screwed around on a small island like this. My junior might very well get sent on a trip of his own. On a lonely trip where it couldn't, or where it couldn't even stand. Oh, please stop. I don't want to have nightmares about this later. <laughs> it's been a while since I can mess around like this, too. It's really, it really is good to finally see someone from the outside. And there are interesting people on the island, too, and if you just talk to them. Oh, that's just because you're special, Chester. In my case, everyone just ignores me no matter what kind of smile I wear. Ah, uh, I did get a cold shoulder from a few people at first, too, I suppose. Oh, even you. Yeah, someone told me to get out of the island, or something along those lines. If we could, we surely already would have. Being flat out ignored is the worst, though. There must be something wrong with them, not giving a handsome lad like myself his due. And speak of the devil. Oh. <laughs> hey ho! Uh, good morning or good weather today. Hello. Chester. Did you see that? Did you see her eyes? She looked at us like trash. 
trash. Or rather, something inanimate, I suppose. Well, I'm used to it. They all lack something here. You said that before. You'd better be careful too, Chester. You might become like them after being on this island for too long. And it'd be very boring if you did. What do you think that they lack exactly? Hmm. Something necessary to survive. Uh, no, the other way around. Something that's not exactly necessary to survive. Kinda... I'm not sure if I can explain this myself. But you don't seem to be lacking it yourself. Well, I was brought up on a different, or in a different place, is what I'd like to say, but... When I look at their kids, I can't help but wonder how they grow up with that. Maybe the place got accustomed to lobotomize people as they get older, who knows? Well, I guess you had enough for me for today. You're really a fun person to talk to, Chester. I'm having fun too. You've got a knack for dispelling tension. And maybe we've got good chemistry. Well, let's have a drink together next time. Is there alcohol on this island? <clears throat> Is there alcohol on this island? Well, they don't exactly have a pub or anything that grand. But they do make pretty good wine. I'll let you taste some next time. Or next time. I'll be looking forward to that. Alrighty. Till destiny brings us together again, then. See you. He's one energetic fellow, isn't he? Ah, I love, I love the connections between the people here. No point in shutting myself inside. I could still run properly, it seems, though I ran out of breath in, a, in but a few moments. I guess I'm holding up pretty well for being all rotten inside. Guess I could explore some more. Oh man, I I keep forgetting that he has a villain. I think that's what makes me connect to his character so well, though, is because it seems like this is where most people's houses are located. Judging from what I've seen of the size of the island from the cliff, there might be a few more places like this, but there might not be that many people on this side of the island. I can't seem to find any. Huh, oh, that's Colette's... Oh, that's Colette's guy. Oh? Oh! Hey, mister. Are you gonna marry Colette? Eh? You're not? Why would you think that were the case? Well, I tried to get some bread from her earlier today and she totally started shouting at me. This bread is for Chester and the like. You're that Chester of hers, ain't ya? Indeed, I am. But that is not enough to marry someone. Really? Oh, it's so complicated. <laughs> hey, mister, where have you come from? Bo, come back right this instant. Uh, Mom? Hello. What do you want from our child? I was just saying hi. Don't come any closer. Let's go. Hey, yeah, but Mom... Oh, I'm sorry, mister. Mom, wait! I hear lots of stories about rural communities shutting out, or shunning outsiders, but... This didn't feel like that. It was more... As if she was looking at trash. I guess Jeannie's had a point. I wonder if Colette's mother also receives this treatment. Or perhaps men and women have a different cure. Um, hi, people. I guess I wouldn't, or I wouldn't get any answers even if I tried to strike a conversation. We better go somewhere else. Yeah, it's so weird. All of them have, like, this different look in their eyes, and that kid didn't. Right. Where did Genius live again? I wonder if he's also borrowing a cabin like me. Colette and Laro saved me. 
There must have been someone who saved him, too. Huh? Huh? There was something odd about that statement, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Those two saved me, and then I met Greta. Then Genius? Chester! Uh... Hello, what are you doing here? I was just taking a walk, how about you? Someone asked me to deliver something. Deliver something? Huh, I work as a weaver in the village. I can also make clothes, dolls, and all sorts of other little things from my cloth. Oh, right! I'll weave something for you next time. Thank you, but I've already received these clothes from you. <laughs> Laura was really grumpy over that. Those clothes were too big for him. He'll grow up. He's still in his growing stage. Yes, I think so, too. He was a huge crybaby back when he was a child. But before I knew it, he was suddenly the one protecting me. And this is how we live now. I wish I had a little brother like that, too. Right? I'm very proud of him. Do you have any siblings, Chester? I'm a single child. I think that my parents pampered me quite a bit. Really? You don't feel like that at all. And this is all the time that I have for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Now see you in the next video. Bye-bye!